um, we are we passed through Winneba. We passed through, we drove through Winneba. So we are still in Winneba, getting out of Winneba. Winneba is a big town. What has made Winneba the town that everybody talked about now is two things. One, education. Education. There is a university here, and that university was built to train coaches for sports. Currently, there are a lot of departments that have been added to it. So every, all the youth that comes to this place, they are here because of education, higher education. We will see the university very soon. The second thing is their festival. Just about two weeks ago, they celebrated their festival. First and second week in May. The name of the festival is called Abwachiri Festival. Abwachiri means hunting of the deer. It's a deer hunting festival. They have two groups, two youth groups, and um, they all they have a small forest. During that time, early in the morning, they go there to uh, hunt for a deer. The one who catches the deer and brings it to the chief first is the one who have won for the year. People, troops from all walks of life come here to come and witness this festival. Because of education, most of the houses around this place are hostels and they rent it for the students. If you have a piece of land here, you have money. Why should I say that you put up a hostel and it's been, uh, 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 students are going to come for it and you rent it. And you're going to get money every semester, every semester. And renting over here compared to other places is high because more people need their rooms. Now take a look from here on your right. The building that you see is part of the university. That's a university of education, Winneba. And that university belongs to the government. We have government universities, we have private universities, and we have religious universities in there. Yeah, as you can see on your right, we have some. Uh, we have some people training handball, having a handball training. Uh, Ghana, oh, we just well in handball. But not on the. Uh, uh, we've never been to uh, Olympic Games before. But in West Africa, we are champion. But over there, we are trying. One day we'll get there. I played handball before for a club. We have various clubs that they play a league, like the soccer league. We have the northern side and then the southern side. So the country has been divided into two. We also have a volleyball team and the same way northern uh, sector and southern sector. So the coaches have been trained here. Assistant coaches, administrators and whatnot, they all been trained here. Like all this building that you see, there are hotels and hostels. They are making money upon money every semester. The rooms that they have, they have a shared room 
maybe four rooms, um, apartment uh, with one uh, washroom, one toilet and bath for four people. They have three, they have two, and they have one single room. The single room are more expensive than the two, three, and the four sharing. There's a hospital just a little bit behind us, and uh, it's called Trauma. Uh, this hospital was built uh, because of people traumatized. In case there is an accident, uh, some people get traumatized. So it's the hospital that takes care of those things. Not only accidents, and I have to be frank, not only accidents, Sometimes, even if there is a, a fire or something happened at home and someone is traumatized, we have doctors there who are specialized to take care of. Yeah. Mm -hmm.